Hello, welcome to the Comlex 5-Minute Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for even more resources on preparing for the Comlex board exam. Let's review Wilms tumor first. This is a um, nephroblastoma, second most common malignant abdominal tumor, occurs between um, ages of 2 and 5 years old, and it's associated with hemihypertrophy, aniridia, genitourinary abnormalities, macroglossia, and patients commonly have an abdominal mass on physical exam, and you will also find hypertension. So abdominal mass, elevated hypertension, aniridia, macroglossia, and hemihypertrophy gives you your diagnosis. Um, you also need to order a CT scan um, as a best choice in order to make sure that it is a Wilms tumor. And you'll see a characteristic claw sign on the CT, which can be visualized right here. In addition, uh, the treatment is surgery, and if it's inoperable, then you can consider vincristin and dactinomycin uh, chemoradiation along with um, possible bilateral um, you know, involvement, then you can consider a unilateral nephrectomy and a partial contralateral nephrectomy as other procedures. But mainly for treating this condition, surgery is the number one option. Um, if that's not possible, then chemotherapy and radiation are an alternative. Patients also present with hematuria. Now, let's review neuroblastoma. This is mainly abdominal, adrenal, or retroperitoneal in origin. They come from the neural crest cells due to the N mycogene, which can occur at any site. Patients present with ataxia or dancing eyes and dancing feet. These patients also have Horner syndrome. And so a patient who comes in who presents with a neuroblastoma will have a palpable mass in the flank or midline. It will be painful um, and possible calcification and hemorrhage can be seen. The initial presentation of the patients often involves metastasis to skull and the orbital uh, bones. Again, for this, you would want to order a urine homovanillic acid, HVA, or a vanil mandelic acid, VMA, for 90% of the cases. So again, whereas in a Wilms tumor, you'd order a CT, here, the best choice would be getting a HVA and a VMA um, from your urine. And you also want to evaluate for spread by getting a bone scan or bone marrow. Again, CT MRI may be helpful to localize the tumor. And um, the treatment is based mainly with surgery. And uh, if chemotherapy is uh, using cyclophosphamide and doxorubicin, radiation, bone marrow transplant, as well as stem cell transplant are other treatment options for patients presenting with a neuroblastoma. On the board exam, to review both of these, again, neuroblastoma, a child will have irritable, um, tenderness, blueberry muffin, eyes will, may show raccoon eyes with some degree of wasting, um, there's urinary metabolites which you would order in order to make the diagnosis through the HVA and the VMA, and you can see calcification on your imaging study, and it's often painful and metastasized to the skull and the orbital bones, um, and so those are the key points for neuroblastoma. For Wilms tumor, just remember um, the elevated hypertension, hemihypertrophy, aniridia, genitourinary anomalies. Get the abdominal CT and surgery is your next step. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources, including free lectures and podcasts on numerous topics that you will be asked on the Comlex board exam. Good luck in your preparation.